What's up, everybody? Welcome to the video. I hope you're doing well. I hope you're doing swell. I've been busy. Uh, no one told me having uh, two kids would be so much. I should have should have read a book or watched at least an Instagram story on it. Uh, huh. uh, today we're talking about gradients and uh, how to use them and then how to step it up and make them even cooler. So before we get started, I always like to reset my studio back to default in case you want to follow along and you want our screens to look the same. So to do that, just go up to Window, Studio, and select Reset Studio. Okay, cool. First thing we're gonna do is go over to our toolbox on the left-hand side, and we're gonna grab a shape. Now, I'm gonna grab a rectangle right here, but you can click on this little triangle and pick whatever shape you want. I'm gonna click the rectangle. I'm just gonna click and drag it out. Mine happens to be pink, because uh, I was at the uh, the Pink Pony Club. <laughs> no, uh, no, that's a song uh, on the radio that I've never heard. Uh, hey, so now that we've got this shape selected, Let's go over to our gradient tool and give this thing a gradient. So you can hit G on your keyboard as a shortcut, or you can just click on this icon right here, the gradient tool. So I'm going to click on that. My shape is selected. Now you can drag a gradient out in any direction. In this example, I'm going to go from the top left to the bottom right by clicking and dragging. And now you can see the top left is pink and the bottom right is black. And I have this little bar here where I can control the strength of each color by dragging it back and forth. Now to get real control over this gradient, we're going to go up to the top uh, left of our screen here. Now I can change the type of gradient, which is how it looks by changing it here. But if I want to change the colors and add more, I can click on this fill box right here. So uh, you can see I have the same bar to drag back and forth on the gradient. And I have the options to change the color. So let's go to this color box. This one's selected. I'm going to click here. And I have two options. I can use this color picker, which we're going to use in a minute. Or I can just drag this color wheel around and change the color. So let's make th this one this color. And I can also add another color if I wanted in the middle. For now, we're not gonna. I'm gonna go to this black circle, click on that, go to my color, and then let's change it to that color. So cool, now we have this awesome gradient. Very fancy. Now here's a cool thing you can do with this. You can turn this into a paintbrush. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over to the bottom of my layers panel, and I'm gonna click on this icon here that says add a pixel layer, just so I can start painting over top. Now I'm gonna go back to my toolbox and I'm gonna click on my brush, my paintbrush uh, tool here. I can also hit B on my keyboard. And now any brush I use is going to give me that gradient. I happen to be using my Stroke of Genius brushes you can get at bydesignmethod.com if you're looking for awesome brushes for Affinity Photo and Affinity Designer to step up your game. But now any brush that I pick is gonna give me this cool gradient, very fancy. Okay, so let's uh, let's 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 do something cooler now. What we're gonna do is we're gonna use this to sample from a picture and use those colors. So I'm gonna turn this off for a sec so you can see this photo here of this cool sky mountain range type thing. And what I want to do is I want to sample those colors. So I got my little triangle, not a triangle, rectangle selected here. I'm gonna go back up to the top left where my fill is so I can control the colors. I'm gonna click on that, and this time my blue color is selected. And when I click on the color box, instead of choosing a color here, I'm gonna to go to the color picker right here. I'm gonna click hold and drag my mouse. And now you can see my mouse is picking up whatever color it sees underneath it. Anywhere I go, actually, it's gonna grab that color, which is pretty cool. So what I'm gonna do is grab this blue first, maybe right here, and sample that blue. Now what I'm gonna do is go to insert. I'm gonna add another color because I wanna sample more than two colors. And now I have a circle in the middle. I'm gonna click on color and let's drag it out to maybe this yellowy color here. And then I'm gonna go, I'm gonna add another one and I'm gonna change that color and let's grab a third color here. Let's do maybe this one. And then I'm gonna click on the last circle and I go to color, click on my color picker, click drag and I'm gonna grab another color, maybe like that. So now you can see I have this gradient, which is pulled directly from this picture sampling the colors uh, that I wanted, as many or as little as I wanted. Now, cool thing is again, I can add a new pixel layer. I can take up my paintbrush by hitting B and then whatever brush I choose, I can now paint in that gradient color. Bam, there it is. That's how you get fancy. That's how you, uh, uh, that's how you get cool parties. So there you go. I hope you found this helpful. If you did, please tap, tap, tap that like button. Again, if you're looking for awesome brushes, check out bydesignmethod.com. I appreciate you watching. Do what all those YouTubers say. Like, comment, subscribe. Uh, and I will see you in the next one.